Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I've been working on my crew pod for the Skylon that I introduced in the previous video and I think it is ready for release. In the comments to that video, a uh, comment correctly pointed out that we needed more RCS thrusters, though the initial comment thought that it was for yaw. That's not the case. Uh, it, this was able to yaw, but we needed extra RCS thrusters for translation purposes to go left or right because this does have to dock to things. And so I've added those RCS thrusters, and uh, I have also added the internals for the crew pod. So we'll just take it outside without the Skylon first. So now we have the Kerbal Portraits, and we click view. The windows are a little bit big, actually, uh, which might be nice, but the textures aren't super wonderful, but they're okay. The Kerbals float because the seats are actually sized for humans. And the extra room that we have in here is actually for basically bunks or uh, whatever berths that they might want to sleep in on a trip to the moon, for instance, is the idea, and extra supplies in the back as well. Uh, so that is the notion. I actually made the spaces in Blender to make sure that there was enough space for actual human-sized peoples. And yeah, so that's the interior. And that is, of course, the exterior. We've got real shoots, parachutes. We've got the docking port at the bottom that doesn't come with it, but otherwise everything else is integrated. Uh, you might need to add solar panels to the top for power. It doesn't have an integrated fuel cell. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. Okay, so yes, it does have a fuel cell with hydrogen and oxygen. So the abort engines are RS-88s and they are pressure fed and we do have pressure feeding. It is pressure feed okay. Uh, so there is one unit of helium in here. You'll note that it is under fueled for use with Skylon and in 1.12.5, and let me get Skylon back out here. In 1.12.5 where we are right now, I tested it and it seemed to have trouble getting to orbit with the crew pod, even though it got to orbit with the crew pod in previous versions 1.8.1 and 1.12.3. And that's because the 1.12.3 installed I had had an older version of Realism Overhaul that didn't have the residuals yet. That was compatible with 1.12.3, but was one of the earlier ROs that were compatible with 1.12.3. In 1.12.5 we have residuals and uh, they seem to hurt Skylon's performance, so that's one effect. Another effect is the scaling on the adjustable landing gear. Basically, the adjustable landing gear is really heavy if you scale it up. And so we can see, uh, initially I actually had it at uh, 2x, and you can see our mass is 361, uh, but if you scale it down just to 1.75 instead of 2, we, we just saved 8 tons. So you're going to have to be really careful about the landing gear because the capacity of Skylon is just 20 tons. If you're carrying an extra 10 tons of landing gear, that's got to be rough. Um, it might be better to use the stock landing gear, I don't know. So there's these, and these will be about as long, and that'll be 2 tons. Whereas these, well right now they're 5 tons, so I think... Uh, I might have gone into the configuration and said, hey, you're taking up too much mass, you need to scale a little bit better, scale by the square instead of the cube or something like that. And I might have done that manually. Uh, if you don't want to go in and try and change the configuration for that, uh, I suggest using the extra large landing gear here. And then uh, it too will probably scale unfavorably, but I think at a 1x scale it should be okay. You can see at 1.25 it adds 4 extra tons. Uh, so that's double the initial mass. Uh, so yeah, uh, just keep it to 1x and then maybe you'll be able to rotate okay. And I'm going to package them together. Uh, so the Skylon and the crew pod will come together. And the things that you have to add, it'll have the wings and it'll have the engines with the air intakes and it'll have that. Uh, and the canards are going to be there. The only thing you really have to add is the landing gear. So your choice of landing, will be, landing gear will be important. And somebody asked whether it would be the crew pod would be compatible with a different Skylon. I think so, as long as it's scaled properly and has the colliders in the right place, right? I mean, it is what it is. It's a block about this size. Anything that can carry this, it'll be compatible with, except there is the quirk of the Skylon having the blowout hatch, right? I haven't really done anything with that, so the hatch is going to be ejectable, but not openable right now. Uh, you could use it. The, uh, the 
version of the Skylon that I have will have two versions. There'll be uh, this version with the blowout hatch, or if you're not planning to abort, um, there's the regular body. So this is the no door body, which has the hatch, this crew pod cover, but there's also the version with the normal cargo bay. And so you can use the normal cargo bay with the crew pod, and then you don't have to worry about losing this portion of the plane when it comes back down. So it's up to you which one you use. I might add an animation to the crew pod cover later on so that it's not, you know, going to be missing when you come back down, even if you get the crew pod out of this version, but I haven't done that yet. So if you're planning to not abort, uh, you might as well use uh, the one that has the cargo bay and it'll come with it. It'll be called Skylon Body and Skylon Body No Door is the one just for having fun aborts, basically. Uh, so anyway, that is the idea and it has the internals. It's got, in theory, four tech life support, enough food, water, and oxygen for 14 days for four Kerbals or something like that. Um, maybe five, I have to check. But it's the standard amount of food, water, and oxygen I put into things, so I just dumped it in. You might want to change that, and it has some extra volume available, 249 liters. So, I'm just thinking about what else I'm going to say about it. I will be adding other things to this particular mod pack, except for Skylon and the crew pod. Skylon and the crew pod will be in their own little folder, and the other things will be in their separate folder. The other things I'm going to be adding into this mod are Venture Star and other advanced uh, spacecraft, basically. So look forward to that. And it'll be called the Advanced Spacecraft Mod. So it'll be the EDB Advanced Spacecraft Mod, and it'll be on GitHub. So I'll have the link to that in the video description. And hopefully I haven't missed anything. Uh, oh, uh, just for reference, when you're using the Skylon, the parity amount, so when you should switch to rocket mode is when the propellant is about here, 525,000. I think technically it's 517,000, uh, but you might want some extra hydrogen for running the jets for landing. So that'll give you about 8,000 left for that, 8,000 liters. So that's about where you need to be in order to switch to rocket mode and for it to be efficient. And hopefully with the correct landing gear, you can use the crew pod. Otherwise, maybe a version without residuals might be a good idea. But it'll take some practice to actually get the trajectory right. So anyway, that's just an announcement of the crew pod, and I'll have the link in the video description. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.